Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming kind of an interesting video. I'm not sure how you guys are gonna feel about this, but I thought I would put it out there anyway. And uh, I bought myself some sunflowers because they're like one of my absolute favorite flowers. And they had some at the grocery store and I wanted to bring it down here and use it in the background of my video because uh, I don't know, sunflowers are amazing and it's summertime and I just wanted to capture the beauty of sunflowers in my background so someday when I look back on this video I can remember those beautiful sunflowers I purchased that one day. So anyway, today's video, kind of a different one. It is a swatch party. You guys love my swatch party videos and I just wanted to talk about a brand that was kind enough to send me some palettes. Now, these are dupe palettes. It's the brand Alter Ego. You guys have probably already seen like a hundred different creators showcase these palettes and so I'm here to showcase them as well. I know in the past I haven't really been the biggest fan of dupe palettes and I feel like I'm realizing more and more, especially with how much I spend on makeup, that it's not a realistic amount for everyone else and sometimes even me. Like I know I spend way too much money on makeup and I feel like now that I've had more time to play with these, that they are honestly really good alternatives to some palettes that I really enjoy. So the Natasha Denona Gold Palette is honestly one of my favorite palettes of all time. I was looking at this the other day, even before the Goddess Palette came to me, and I was like, I need to pull this out. I need to use this. I spent so much money on this palette, and I really think it's a beautiful palette. So it was sitting on my vanity, and then I got the email from Shop alter ego and I was like sure send me the palette and I didn't realize it was a dupe for anything until I looked it up on YouTube and I was like oh it's a dupe palette I don't know how I feel about it but I actually did try this palette out last week and I thought it was beautiful I haven't used all the shades so some of the really pretty shades in the Natasha Denona palette I don't know if this is like a perfectly good dupe for. All I know is I wore the shade Artemis on my lid and I didn't even have to wet the shadow. It's so beautiful and sparkly. So I just thought I would show you guys a little swatch party. I do want to do some eyeshadow looks with these palettes as well, but you guys know how much I love swatch parties and I know how much you guys like swatch parties. So I thought I would do a little swatch party video for you guys. And then, you know, if you're, you know, thinking about picking these palettes up, they did give me a link as well as a code. So I believe the code is Karen10. I will put it here once I double check it because I can't remember and that gives you 10% off. And I believe both of these palettes are under $20 which is kind of awesome. They have another palette as well. I didn't get that one. I just got these two, which is the dupe for the Natasha Denona and the dupe for the Huda um, New Nudes palette, which I have both of those. I love both of those palettes. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this dupe option in case you guys were thinking of, you know, wanting these. So the first shade is Artemis. Then we have Athena, Par uh, Pandora is that beautiful champagne shade, Iris, and then Liza. So they're so pretty. And then the next row, and don't worry guys, I will do an eyeshadow look with these. I just wanted to do a swatch party because I can typically get those up faster for you guys. So there is the next row, and that's um, Aura, Hera, Valkyrie, Gaia, and Venus. I just how love how shimmery the shimmer shades are. And then I'm going to swatch the last row. And we have Freya, Juno, Luna, Avalon, and Cassandra. So there is the Goddess palette. And now I wanna swatch the Natasha Denona so we can compare, see if it's a decent enough dupe for the $125 Natasha Denona palette. So this is the shade I feel like would be the hardest for them to dupe. It's the one everyone loves. It's called Lime Chrome. Oh my God, this is, this is I think Cassandra is supposed to be a dupe for this. Um, and then there's these. So they have the same shades. They're just like mixed up, I think, just so it can't be like completely copyright 
in fringe type deal but oh my god this palette I'm telling you guys it's so beautiful look at that lime chrome shade are you kidding me so that's the dupe right there and then that blue um, this shade is supposed to be, I think, the dupe for the champagne color. So yeah, they are, they are dupes. They're just rearranged. And I could have swatched them in order, but why would I do something so practical? Okay, so this is the shade that's the dupe to that first one. Okay, so there's the next row in the Natasha Denona palette. Look at that gold. Oh my god. Isn't it stunning? Now I'm just going to swatch the last row of the Natasha Denona palette. So there is the entire palette swatched on my arm. And here is the... Okay, so this is Natasha Denona and this is Alter Ego. My hands are weird, so I can't show them to you together because my hand goes like this. Anyway, so there's the swatches. I think, honestly, the Natasha Denona palette is one of my favorite palettes of all time. It's actually the palette that convinced me to try more Natasha Denona because I had tried her Sunset palette. I tried the Lila palette. I was not impressed. I didn't really like her five pan palettes. So this is like my all time favorite Natasha Denona palette. And I have bought a few more of her palettes since then. So this one is wonderful. If you can spend the $125, $29 on this, I would really, really recommend it, but like I said in my intro, I understand not everyone can do that, and I feel like for the price you pay, this is a decent replica or like a decent dupe of the Natasha Denona, so it really kind of gives you the same vibe. I still think these are definitely like a little bit more sparkly, but they need to be that way because you paid the high price tag, so that's kind of my few thoughts on that. So next I want to move on to the Daydream palette. So, okay, so the next palettes I have are these two guys. So the Huda palette was one of my favorites again from 2018. And then this is their dupe for it. It's called the Daydream palette. Now, just so you guys know, I'm not getting paid to make this video or anything like that. They just give me a coupon code so you guys can save money. And I'm, you know, assuming because I'm a small YouTube channel, if you guys make a purchase and use my coupon code, it just helps me get recognized recognized in the beauty community so it totally means a lot for me if you guys use my link but you totally don't have to feel any pressure I know some people already saw me show these on Instagram and had already messaged me saying they were planning on picking this up anyway so they'd be happy to use my code and again I don't have to make a video or anything I just wanted to show these off I know it's cringy because everyone is talking about these palettes right now and I believe I'd even heard that this is um shop hush rebranded i'm not really sure um my eyeballs are intact from wearing the goddess palette so i'm not worried about any of the ingredients or anything like that but yeah i just think it's cool that somebody made a dupe so these are all clearly like the exact shades from the huda palette just you know mismatched um so that it doesn't look exactly the same but there is a dupe for every shade in both palette so let me start off with the daydream so they have that concealer shade that the huda palette does as well i have never actually used the one the huda palette um i love the huda palette the new nudes palette i think it's such a great palette if you're like a makeup artist and for bridles and stuff like that and how great that you could get a very decent quality version from a more affordable brand as well so it's nice that you have both options um, so let me just wash this last shade here. So this is the first row from the Daydream. We have the concealer shade, then we have a shade called Star Crossed, Sunset uh, Celestial Cosmo, and Sun Kiss. Cosmo is a pressed glitter, um, but it's a beautiful like pink shade. I've never actually used the one in the Huda palette either, um, just because I have so many palettes and I literally have no time to use all the palettes I have, which is kind of a drag sometimes, but you know, it is part of the, part of the job. <laughs> okay. okay, so yeah, there's another press glitter in the Huda palette. Uh, I didn't realize, I really don't like press glitters. I'm not buying any more palettes with press glitters in them. I learned my lesson. Okay, so we have Glow, which is a beautiful brow bone highlight shade. Fairy Tale Fawn Dusk Starlight, which is the other pressed glitter, and then Cloud Nine, 
which is the last shade I forgot to swatch. Aren't those beautiful? Like, I can't believe, like, they're able to also do the same almost like level of quality that you're getting in the Huda palette, which is kind of crazy. I thought this, the Natasha Denona one, I feel like her shimmers and like her textured shadows are definitely more shimmery. This one, the shadows feel very similar to the, to the Huda Beauty quality. So here's the last row from my Daydream palette. And then I need to swatch the lash shade. And I'll tell you guys the names. So there are the last few shades. And the names are Bubbly. We have Dreamer, Enchanted, Sugar Plum, Twilight, and Daybreak. Which is the last shade. So take a good look at that. And then here is the packaging too. I wanted to show you guys. And then here's the box for the Goddess palette. And these do say on the back, uh, you know, that they are cruelty-free and 12-month shelf life. It is made in the People's Republic of China. Net weight is 13.5 grams. Cruelty-free product. What does it say on this one? This one is also made in China. Cruelty-free, 12-month shelf life. And all the ingredients are on the back here, too, which is nice. Because I know sometimes people get a little weirded out by brands that don't have the ingredients. I don't have like sensitive eyes or any like skin issues. So I'm a little bit more lax on stuff like that. But I know a lot of my subscribers and friends here on YouTube and Instagram message me and say like, I can't use this brand because of this allergy or that allergy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I can't imagine having to worry about that. But I can totally empathize with people that have more issues with, you know, unsafe like ingredients or they're allergic like that would be so difficult to have to deal with so here is the huda palette i'm swatching the first row okay so the shades are bear we have crave play fantasy love bite and spanked and then the next row we have lace daydream tickle excite and infatuated those are the two Press glitters and then kinky, which is like a beautiful cranberry with a hint of gold, like duochrome shade. And then I did swatch the concealer shade. I don't know why. It's more like a primer. I've never really actually used the primer uh, shade, which is, I don't know. I mean, how do you comment on that? I'm sure it's fine. Like, whatever. So here is the last row. And we have concealed, secret, tease, raw, charmed, and teddy. So so oh, pretty this is such a great like everyday palette when I first saw her launching that new nudes palette I was a little bit skeptical but I definitely bought it because I love Huda's big eyeshadow palettes and it was great so I believe the Huda palette is 65 again the shop alter ego palettes I believe this one is 18 and the goddess one is 16 I don't remember though I will leave links in the description box for you guys as well as my 10% off code for you to shop if you're interested. Again, no pressure. I just wanted to do some videos showcasing the palettes. I'm definitely going to do eye looks as well. Um, those are coming up, so subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing that, and I will catch you guys in my next video soon. Bye!